Hold on, they can't hear you. Two seconds. I forgot to do the thing with the thing. All the time I was talking about pillows and I forgot to do the thing. Okay, <laughs> now, they can, now they can hear you. Welcome in. Hi, G. G stepped on a duck early. All right. Welcome in, Jane. Dire thing. Hello. How are we all doing? How are we? Mike is uh, sat on top of a, a very fancy, ooh, very big skyscraper. Yeah, it's a Don't bit like a... Uh... What's that game that came out that was fucked up as soon as it came out? Oh, Cyberpunk. That's the one. <laughs> Don't lean back too far, Mike. And Bates, <laughs> welcome in. And says, hiya. How's it going? Welcome to the Undesirable Show. Season 5, episode 11. That's that's what we're doing. Yes, sounds about right. The true episode 11. Like, there's been a bunch of other shows in between, but, like, we just haven't counted them as episodes. Mm hmm But, yeah, uh, oh. it's no, no longer spooky season. I mean, for Jenny, it's always spooky season, right? 
So you could you could live your life like that. That's cool. oh. There you go. There you, there you go. go. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Hi, CC coils. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome to the show. Yeah, G is uh, not feeling too well today, so he won't be joining us. But better play. I better sound, G. Yeah. And uh, I haven't had caffeine yet, so I have to. This is my wake-up show. <laughs> Even though it, I know it's eight o'clock in the evening for you guys. Yeah. yeah. I have to get up. I have to get motivated because. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, did you? I, I'm getting ready for Jenny to come over. <laughs> Jenny's gonna be here in two days, <laughs> and I wow. have my room is a mess, and I needs to be able to be occupied by two people instead of me just sat at my computer. So we're gonna and make Jenny, everything. Yeah. If you if you're in Jenny, don't forget a graphics card needs to um, find its way into your suitcase. <laughs> You know what? She could probably take one, and I wouldn't even notice. I'll be honest with you. She'd take it and be gone. I'd be like, Jenny, have you seen my uh, 6750 XT? I, I can't find it anywhere. I swear, I, it was like right there. <laughs> Next thing you know, Mike goes, hey, guys, I just got a 6750 XT. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'd love this one like red devil edition nice <laughs> damn yeah that's a big bastard graphics card yeah it's got 12 gigs of vram as well Ooh, nice yeah beat my 1650 super uh Shit, I have one for you too. Then CC coils. It's a there's a 2070 super back on the fridge, buried under the boxes, somewhere. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I need to I need to clean up all the all the, the the mess. The mess. It's a mess. It's a fucking mess. I'm gonna have <laughs> Jenny her little computer over here attached to the TV, so she can game and stream that she if she wants to. Only 12 gig of VRAM. Yeah, yeah, gee, show off with your, what do you got, 16 gig? <laughs> well, mine's got 24. Beat that. Ha. Huh. The only one that could beat that is the A6000. 48 gigs. Damn. Yeah, it's it's also like six grand. Oh, shit. Fuck that. <laughs> exactly. And it's not even a gaming card. It's a workstation card. Okay. Yeah, I think that's more than mine, Jay. Uh, say, say, even. Uh, what have you been up to this week, then, Nick? Oh. Or is it more of a case of what haven't you been up to this week? Uh, yeah, a little of that, I'd say. Uh, I've been drawing a lot. Um, okay. I actually got... I, w I just hopped in a stream when I woke up, when I jumped in Coffee Talk, and uh, it was 600, the little uh, the ghost that does art stuff. Shout out to 600 on Twitch, by the way. Excellent artist. Um, and he's like, hey, jump in. We made you a, a spot. I was like, ah, uh, shit. <laughs> I was like, I was not prepared for this. So I'm like, all right, screw it, I'll do it. And I ended up drawing a, uh, a xenomorph shooting, like, with its little mouth shooting through uh, Ripley's head. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yep. For a minute there, I was trying to think, what the fuck's a xenomorph? Oh, yeah, from Aliens. Yeah. It took a couple of seconds to sink in. Yeah. Honestly, it's you... been become, like, one of my favorite films. You forget my brain's got about ten years on yours yet. Yeah, you know, slowly uh, deteriorating. I'm just kidding, Mike. <laughs> no, yeah. no, don't worry. I I speak uh, Jenny, and and sometimes Jenny brain can get a bit foggy, so I have to like translate. <laughs> I'm yeah. just like, uh, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about, Jenny. I get it. 
And right. I, I must be, I jumped onto your stream the other day and you was doing some prison architect shit. Yeah, it's fun. That's fun? Oh my god, it's fun, yeah. You get to lock up troublesome inmates and treat them how you want to treat them. And you could, if you want to be mean, you could be mean, but they're going to rebel. And then you have to have like armed Wait. guards. What? That game looked like it came out on a ZX Spectrum. Yeah, it's like a, a small studio, very, uh, very small developer team, and uh, it took a while to come out to a full game. I was in from all the way back when I was still on the Mac, so this was like three, four years ago. It was in like an alpha stage, and I was playing the game on the Mac. And it was it was really cool. You could make this huge mega prison. I might actually play that a little bit later. <laughs> it got me wanting to play. It's fun. It's so much fun. Oh, Mike, just because you don't shoot people in it. Well, I think I, I think I lasted five minutes watching that stream and I thought, no. Nope. I just wanted to play because I, I was talking about it with a buddy. And I'm like, yeah, Prison Architect. I totally forgot about that game. There is a zombies mode in it. OK, it's a DLC where like the prisoners are zombies and you have to like control them and defend against them and stuff might be a bit more entertaining for stream yeah I might have to get that to be honest with you okay it's fun what what do you play you play Diablo and you play what? and you play shooters uh, well for the last two months all I've been playing is Diablo Ah, oh, see, I I can't get on with that game. It's it's. I used to play the old one, Diablo one yeah. and two, but I don't know. Like that was forever ago, though. That was like oh, yeah. twenty years ago. Yeah, yeah. And uh, somewhere around there, I've still got the um, Baldur's Gate as well. Oh, you got to get out. Wait, the original or the newer one? The PlayStation version. Like the the one that just came out. It hasn't just come out. Baldur's Gate 3? I don't know. Oh. oh, no, it's not Baldur's Gate. It's Never Winter Nights. Oh, I never even heard of that one. No, it's not that you can see it. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, there you go. Uh, okay. Never played that one. Uh, Never Winter Nights was part of the Icewind Dale set, which was actually based on the old D&D uh, &D game. Ah, okay. Which was ultimately based on the books by R.A. Salvatore. Okay, okay. Uh... So, yeah, I mean... What's up, Billy? Hi, Lee. I have... I play everything, though. That's the thing. I play a little bit of everything. I play... strategy games, I play puzzle games, I play horror games, I play shooters, mm -hmm. I play simulators. I like playing everything. Yeah, no, it's just that, that prison architect. That looked like a game that was made in 1980s. Well, that's a big thing right now. Way, thank you for the follow, Ben Babes. Welcome in. Uh, but yeah, the 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 game style, the retro game style, is coming back in a big way. They have like these game jams where people like bring like this game to the table and like they they all show off their indie projects and you know usually they they're available on steam for pretty cheap and like some of them are pretty good and if they are good enough that they get developed into like full games and whatnot they get picked up by publishers i don't know i like them the pixelated art style the old school like retro engines like a lot of them are running off a doom engine you know from 30 years ago yeah, no, I, I get that. It's 
it just reminds me too much of Horace Goes Skiing. I've never even heard of that. Let's see. Horace Goes Skiing. Is that the, uh, oh yeah, the little downhill thing. That's what yeah. the, the little, what is it, the Windows minigame was based off of? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I like that game. All right, Mike, I'll show you, I'll show you a trailer for a game. God, here we go. Just trust me. Here, actually, I could probably do it through this. Uh, let's do this. I will show you a game that I you might like. Uh, where's the mute button on this one again? On the the the, the YouTubey thing or no for the the one that you're now sharing. The mute button. Why are you muting? Oh, I could, I could, yeah. I, it. I just didn't want the echo coming through. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a public service announcement. Return to your homes or face death. We're taking over this town. This one's called Ion Fury. You play as a female protagonist. Like a, in the cyberpunk kind of universe. Say my name. You have like a, it's like a, eighteen shot revolver or something. Get a shitload of weapons. Grenade launcher, crossbow. See, to me, this reminds me more like Borderlands. Yeah, I can yeah. see the similarities. But it's very, like, the pixelated art style. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the, got the yum, yum, yum. dodgy art style, yeah. <laughs> but it has lighting and effects and post-processing on it now, which they didn't even have 30 years ago when the engine yeah. came out. Yeah, no, graphically, that's very sort of like Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, I'll get that. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> you can't tell me that looks like Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers was what, 8 bit? It's like. Something like that. Okay. I like it. Alright, now I have to leave the activity. Mike has to leave the activity. And I'll do that. Down to the bottom little rocket ship thing. You just click leave. Uh, Alright, yeah. Okay, I'll say it. Yep. That's a cool game, though. Very early Doom Duke Dukem. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's oh. what they were going for. <laughs> Hover over the little rocket ship, and I'll, over the YouTube thing it says like leave activity. Uh, nope, what not on my screen. I don't know. Nor do I. Oh, I clicked thing by accident. Ah, there we That's go. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was based on the, I want to say Duke Nukem engine. I can't remember. Okay, yeah. It's 3D Realms, so 3D Realms makes Duke Nukem, so I'm assuming that's what they used. Mm. Um, but yeah, that that's like, that, that's what they're doing lately. Jesus Christ. Fair enough. Phone. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was interesting. So all this, um, what do they call it, graphics hardware that enables them to do super realistic videos and that. Yeah. And yeah. going graphically back 20 years. Yeah. Well, okay. 
let's look at an, uh, you know, okay, you're going to hate me for this, but Roblox. <laughs> so Roblox spawned uh, that, you know, that how people can make games within Roblox. Yeah. And, and you can get paid for doing it if enough people are playing your game. Well, major studios are making games within Roblox and making money that way. Like big studios, like popular game studios that you play games from all the time. So the thing is with that, um, the the game, uh, what was it called? Battle Bit came out of Roblox. So it uses like the Roblox engine and it's a 128 V 128 like Battle Royale multiplayer game. Okay. And it's sick. It's better than Battlefield 2027 or whatever it is. The main um, shoot em up um, Mamorg I used to like playing. Yeah. There was one called Mag. Mag. Let's see. M M O R P G Mag. Let's see. Mag. Okay. Interesting. Haven't I'd never heard of that before today. It was a fucking brilliant game. Cool. And you never used to get the wankers camping in the corners and shit like that. Yeah, well, that's that's never going to stop nowadays. It's, no, I know. That's that we're in it for the long haul with corner campers and and people like that. It's, yeah, unfortunately. But I mean, what are you going to do? Is what it is, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I, I've been a PlayStation fan since the PS1. Yeah, oh, same. I, I remember my PS1. Oh, those were the days. Yep. Pony Hawk's Pro Skater, one of my favorite games. I used to actually play Risk. Risk? Yep. Uh, on PlayStation? Yep. Uh, those graphics are terrible compared to real life Risk. Yes, they are. <laughs> Yeah, they are. But PlayStation 1 graphics were terrible by today's standard anyway. Right. But you still played it because you're like, oh my god, I'm playing Risk on a PlayStation 1. Yep. Yep. Well, no, when, when the PlayStation 2 came out, I think it was the 2, uh, I used to play a lot of Crash Bandicoot Racing. Oh, that's a good one as well. But yeah, if I picked up that fucking mask that went ooga booga, <laughs> that used to make me fucking go boss eyed, saying chronic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I used to play a lot of those games too. Like, uh, what did I have? What, the first game I bought with my PlayStation was a game called, uh, oh god, what was it called? Hydro Thunder. Because I had played it in the arcade, and I'm like, this game is so sick! I want to play it at home. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, turns out it's more fun at the arcade. Right. And another one, I think it was on the PlayStation 2, was the one where you used to make music. Whilst you were um, a dolphin swimming around. Go the dolphin. That's not like that. Yeah. I think that was PlayStation 2. Uh, it's been out for like a lot of different platforms. Um, I think I had it on Xbox. Okay. At some point. And I don't think I ever played it, but my uh, brother in law gave it to me. Mm hmm. Still have a pile of games somewhere over there. Echo is 
Also on the Mega Drive. Yeah, okay. See, it's been around forever. But like, I mean, as much as I'm a PlayStation fan, I'm actually contemplating getting the um, new Xbox. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Um, believe it or not, I absolutely detest sci-fi games. Okay. But I want to try that Starfield or whatever it's called. Okay. Have you ever played the Fallout series at all? Yeah. It. Okay, well, you're not going to like Starfield then. <laughs> it's Fallout, but in space. It just looks really pretty. Okay. It's exactly the same game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that would be really disappointing if you spent all that money. But you don't... You, you have a PC. Get PC games. Like... I will get PC games when I get a PC that's powerful enough to play the games that I want to play. Uh, yeah, but you could spend... What, how much is an Xbox? 500 Something like that. You could take that, put it into your PC, and have a working PC. Like, that can game. Cause what You still have parts, right? Yeah, I've still got the uh, motherboard and case. Still got RAM. Okay. So then all you need is a drive, a CPU, a GPU. And that's about it, really. And a power supply. Yeah, SSD plus, uh, well, possibly two SSDs. Well, nowadays no. you could get... Maybe an M.2, whatever it's called. You could get, for like 50 quid, you could get a one terabyte M.2 for your <clears throat> boot drive and an SSD... Probably about the same for a two terabyte, maybe 60, 70 quid for a two terabyte SSD, which you could put mm -hmm. your games on. And that way you'll have tons of storage. You don't need any more storage, probably ever. And you could just start slapping games on that. So let, let's see. You get like a 5800X, eh, probably about 230-ish, I'm guessing. Don't really know how much they go for. I haven't bought one in a while. I only run a one terabyte SSD. I mean that works. You you only need one drive technically, but the the safest way to do it is two separate drives for your games and your operating system. That way, if something fucks up with your operating system, you just wipe that drive and install Windows again on it, and you don't have to reinstall every single game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jenny is actually doing that right now for a dad with his laptop. His laptop has gone dodgy. Yeah. He, uh, he, he apparently he was watching the streams of football and he clicked he must have clicked a bad link or something and it, it gave him a virus. So Jenny's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jenny's like, it was football. <laughs> Jenny's uh reinstalling Windows on it at, at the moment. Yeah. Like it was football. <laughs> well, in any case, uh, <laughs> that's what the stories we're going with. But. Only topless diving. <laughs> yeah. Topless women football. <laughs> I, you know, I believe that would be a thing, right? Because there are, is like the, the the lingerie league football or whatever. <laughs> what? It's not oh, oh, yeah. ew, oh, oh, might lose a foot that way. <laughs> uh, either but... that, or, either that, or the pitch would get a bit sticky. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> That's when they end up with a green waffle. Oh, God. <laughs> so, you know, on the field, on the AstroTurf fields, they put like little teeny tiny plastic beads everywhere. I feel like you'd end up getting vajazzled by accident. Ouch. <laughs> Fraction then disaster. 
Oh god. He is pissing himself out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I hope your dad's not with an earshot, Jenny. <laughs> Oh, God. I gotta be careful. I gotta go over there again in May. As long as it wasn't the X-rated Kabaddi, you'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, I think Jenny sorted it. It's okay. Okay, <laughs> good. Jenny's going upstairs. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. What were we talking about? Games. That's right. Borderlands. That's a, I love Borderlands. You you played Borderlands, right, Mike? Oh, yeah, I played Borderlands. Oh, fair enough. Do you have the, the the three, the newer one? No. Oh, man. I played one and two. I beat them, and then I, I beat three co-op with a buddy of mine. And then we were playing Tiny Tina's Wonderland, which is like a spin-off game of that. And I finished it one night because he wasn't available to game. So I'm like, ah, I'll play anyways. And yeah, tiny, and tiny thing of Wonderland. Yes, I think your site history is, is like uh, Jenny's dad's. <laughs> yeah, but I know which links to click on, which not to. <laughs> it's like, aha, your computer has 27 viruses, huh? Hmm, better <laughs> click that link. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yep. My written done in a safe. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm middle trying to remember passwords. Oh, yeah. Passwords. Oh, God. Yeah, that's one thing I'll keep a diary for. I mean, at the moment, I, I leave it up to, to Google Chrome. Probably shouldn't be doing that, but, you know. What? Are you ever safe? Like, no matter what. Like, oh. We can save all your passwords to so that you can just one click in. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea until someone gets your password for the, that thing, you know? Exactly. That's why exactly. two-factor and authentication is a thing. Make sure everyone put on two-factor authentication. When you sign into things, you get a notification from uh, Google saying that this password has appeared in the dark web. Oh, lovely. <laughs> How'd that happen, huh, Google? <laughs> you have a little leak there? I don't know. My, my passwords are all... Everything different for everything. Every single thing that I'm signed in for. Yeah. And I don't let Google actually store any of my passwords. They're all written in a book. God, you must have a novel by now. It's getting close to it. <laughs> you know what would be interesting actually is if you actually kind of did that with your passwords so that like you take like a, po a book or a poem and all your passwords are based on like the words in the book mm -hmm. so you just take three or four words and put them all together as your password and if it requires a number you just swap out a number somewhere or mm -hmm. add a number mm -hmm. or the number could be like the line and the paragraph or whatever, how, how people do that with ciphers. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, there's a good one for you. Put a cipher in your, as your password. Jesus. <laughs> now we're talking. Now we're talking some hacker level shit. Yeah. <laughs> one of my passwords is saved online. Oh. That's why whenever I buy something online, I have to input the card details every single time. Because I won't let them stay, stay saved on Google either. Yeah, that's fair enough. And the problem is now I have two separate Google accounts for the undesirables and personal stuff. Yep. Yep. And now that's what we were running into a while back where it was like, uh, cause Jay had access and I had access. So every time he would log in, I would get a notification that said your Google password has been logged into from a computer. And I don't want to say Essex. <laughs> and, uh, 
I'd be like, yep, yep, that's me, you know. And then every time I would log into it, he would have to the, to click the thing. And say, oh, jeez. Yep. Pain. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, my card details are not saved. Yeah, I use PayPal for whenever I, whenever possible. Because at least with PayPal, you you do have that level of security. Mm -hmm. If there is some sort of breach anywhere, you can contest it pretty easily. And I mean, yeah, most credit cards will do that as well. But I feel like it would be easier to get money from PayPal than a credit card company. Yep. yep. I've also got my PayPal set up. I have to authenticate every single payment that goes out. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing, too. Uh, but um yeah because i buy games a lot through g2a and kinguin yep. and well, gamekeys.com or whatever i forget a bunch of different sites because you can usually get games cheaper than on steam even when they're what? on sale so i'll have a look before i buy any game on those sites just to see if i can get it for cheaper oh, fair enough and nine times out of ten, I can. So I, I would buy a code from them and I pay with PayPal. I, if, I, if it doesn't force me to make an account, I don't make an account. Mm -hmm. And if it does, it's just like you know, the, an old burner email. <laughs> but uh, yep. then I, I could get, get my games a little cheaper. Mm. I know the risk. Yeah. I'm taking the risk. And I, 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 yeah. Yeah, but when you get in the game for cheaper it's better <laughs> yeah it, it feels better knowing that i didn't pay full full price for a game mm -hmm. like especially games that i don't necessarily want to buy like that like because all my friends are playing modern warfare right now no i'm, I'm not even playing yeah. that at all I, I i told myself i'm like all right i'll update uh warzone so if I'm in the mood, I can play Warzone. Yep. But uh, I'm not, I don't want to buy the game. Yeah. So I'm going to have to see maybe a few I'm months not, from now. Maybe during Christmas, if it goes on sale, I could buy it. But like, I don't really yeah. want to. I mean, I'm not being funny, but the amount of Modern Warfare games I've actually bought and never actually played the campaign. Really? All I, yeah. All I've literally played is the Warzone. See, I'm the opposite. I tend to play the campaign first and, and beat the campaign mm -hmm. before I even go into because I just it gives you a, a good understanding of the base, the the base like control scheme and everything. You're yeah. like, OK, and like, yeah, with most shooters in Modern Warfare, especially they don't ever change. No. However, if there's a new mechanic that they introduce in the campaign that is in the multiplayer, then it might be okay. I might play the new map Warzone, but I don't like the new weapon rank ups. See, I've heard right. every different side of the, the coin with this one. I've heard people say, oh, I love the new one. I And then I've heard people say, I hate the new one. And I've heard people say, oh, the new zombies is great. And I've heard people say, oh, the new zombie sucks. Don't know who to trust anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, same as va same with vaping, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Everyone's that's Everyone's is different. That's why whenever I would do a review, it would always be my opinion. And mm -hmm. I took I took two weeks with the device, like using it almost exclusively before I even would touch a review. 90% of the reviewers would just do it same day as it was delivered. Yep. Hate that. <laughs> You remember when Tom got us to do the uh, Vapor Storm Puma? Yeah. I took three weeks for that. Mm hmm. I, I like that little guy. Oh, it was a fucking brilliant mod, but yeah. I was expecting, because of how cheap, cheap it felt. Yeah, very plasticky. I expected it to break within sort of like the first week. No, if anything, it was tougher than some of the other more traditional mod companies. Yeah. Oh, a brilliant little mod. Hey, how's it going, Eric? 
Welcome in. That's why I take a couple weeks to review products. Exactly. You need a couple weeks with something. You can't tell me in good faith that you, you can do a proper review of a product within 24 hours or, you know, two, three days. You can't. But you need the real life experience. You need to take it out of the house. You need to, like, do stuff with it. The way I say things is if you're doing it out, out of the box, all you're doing is an advert. Yeah, pretty much. Mike, you have a message from Gail. Gail, Mike, menopause has cured me of being shitbag. Been watching horror. Fucking hell. <laughs> nice one, Gail. Jesus. And is that actually Gail or is that a troll? <laughs> nah, she's got the the mod sword, so uh, oh. that that's real real Gail. Oh, well done, Gail. Amazing. Jesus. <laughs> I love horror we'll films. Get, we'll have to get you watching the new Exorcist. Oh boy. Yeah, I think we need to, like a whole section in Discord for like Mike's horror movie recommendations. Ooh. Well, one I am definitely recommending is the new Evil Dead. 100% does that get a recommendation from me. Fair enough. Damn. You watched the new Exorcist. Bloody Nora. Tell Zan to get you the new Evil Dead. Go. See, I don't, I, I don't get scared by horror movies. Like, I don't know. There's nothing in a horror movie that, that really would scare me other than, like, having it really loud and it having a jump scare, and it's just that cheap one-off. Yeah, the, one -off. Yeah, the jump, jump scares are, are cheap, but they're funny. <laughs> I, get, I get great enjoyment out of seeing other people jump. <laughs> yeah, we know, Mike. We know. Ah, oh, God. Turn my headphones up to 150% whenever I play Phasmophobia. <laughs> and every little noise, regardless of what it is, scares the ever-living shit out of me. Well, I still say you need to put Blurp on yours. I hate Blurp. Blurp is 100% is spyware, by the way. That it is, might be, but it's fucking brilliant. That is, I can't trust Blurp, though. That's the problem. I'd have to have it moderated because someone's going to find something or some way to play something dodgy on there and I'm going to get my channel shut down. I just, I, eh, I can't trust people making their own sounds. Like, that's why I don't have, like, text-to-speech. Yeah, yeah. I just don't trust it. Yep. Yeah. And, yeah, as Gail says, she does jump at her own shadow. God. Well, you got to start her off with something... You know, a little, little easier then. I mean, I'll, I'll give you a clue, Nick. If I was on a Zoom call with Gail, I would burp, <laughs> and she would jump. Oh man! <clears throat> yeah, uh, that's a thing. Um, I don't know. What, what would you think is like a mild horror movie then? Mild horror movie. Yeah. August. Even that. <laughs> Have you ever watched oh, The Cube, Mike? Yeah, I thought it was shit. Really? Yeah. That's the one with Halle Berry in it. Cube? Is that the one with Halle Berry? Is Halle Berry in the Cube? Movie. Uh, Wikipedia. Can't remember now. Cast. No, not Halle Berry. There's uh. So what's the one about with Halle Berry in a cube type prison thing? Oh God. 
Jesus, you watch the nun. What? Bloody hell. Nice one, girl. A cube is the one where it was a... Essentially, it was like a prison, and there's a bunch of people in it, and they didn't, like, they start off, they wake up, and they're, like, in this cube. And there's, like, doors, little doors, hatches on all the walls and, and ceiling and everything. And they, like, start moving through, and then they find each other, and they're like, who are you? What have you done? Why, why am I in here? And they're like, I don't know. I'm in the same situation. And then they have to figure a way how to get how to get out. Yeah, yeah that, that one was pretty creepy. I like that one. Yeah. I'd say that's a decent mild one to get into, though. It's more of a, okay. a thriller. Uh, try watching The Human Centipede, girl. Oh, what? going to throw her into that? I think the second one is more funny than than scary. Mm -hmm. The second one. The first one was just kind of like... See, I feel like those movies are some somewhat comedy. Uh, I'm yeah, like, I know. Not intentionally, maybe, but like they, there's elements of like how ridiculous and over the top it is. The third one was pretty dumb too. The, the third. It's not about baby Crowley's cow. No, 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 it, no, 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 no. It's not. No. It's not about baby Crowley's at, at all. <laughs> no, that has nothing to do with centipedes, actually. <laughs> It's about an evil scientist. Mm -hmm. Can we get more and more true every day? Can that movie Idiocracy now be considered a horror movie because I'm terrified with how accurate it is? <laughs> I still haven't watched that. I was told to watch it like ages ago and I still haven't watched that one. There was an excellent. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Everyone says I need to watch it. Conjuring is good. I like the Conjuring. It's got a few few little jump scares in there. Insidious is good. Uh, what was the one? Oh, God. What was it? Yeah. It was uh, Hannibal, the guy who played Hannibal there. Uh, he played a... And Annie Hopkins. Yeah, he played like a priest or something. What one was that? Had to do with like oh. stuff. Yeah, I know the. You know the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Hold on, we'll find it. We'll find it. Uh, and... What the fuck's that one called? Let's see. The right. There's been so many, there's been so many films about exorcism. I know. There's the right. He was in that. That sounds like it would be it. Uh. Right, the right, the right, the right. Warning. The Slayer has entered the facility. I've seen that and I can't fucking remember that. I know I'll say it because I watched it with Sean. Away ads, get out of here! Yeah, that's got to be it. That's definitely it. It's called the right. That one's pretty good. It's only a couple of years old. That one, isn't it? The right. Well, 2011. What? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, the original Texas Chainsaw. It's a slow burn. But it when shit very, starts very, happening, very very good film. Yeah, but once shit starts going down, it's creepy and especially the the you know the how old it is the film and everything used is grainy and it's dark and yep. it's just creepy it's got that like you just feel dirty you know after watching it because that house mm -hmm. is all dilapidated and ugh. another one i enjoyed watching was jeepers creepers yeah we actually just watched that in movie night not too long ago Paranormal activity, all those are just like being at work, so not so scary to yeah. me. It's the jumpy bits. Those ones, yeah. uh, the first one was uh, not terrible, but then after that, it was just shit. Couldn't get on with that. What about The Purge? That's not horror. No? Nah. Isn't it meant to be? 
Mm, don't think so. I always thought it was like a horror movie. No. Not, not horror. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Mike. Yeah. Didn't really think about it, but it always came out around like uh, Halloween. That's why I oh, think no. it was meant to be horror. Hmm. Nah. Nah, the purge was very meh. Yeah. What about uh 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 there was another one I was thinking of. Um Saw. What about the Saw? Saw I didn't like that much. Which one? There's like thirteen. Any of, of them. them. Even the first one. I didn't one? like any of them. See, I like the first one. That first hostel one. I enjoyed. Oh uh, yeah. That one's a bit brutal. Yeah, I agree, Lee. Just trying to think. M. Night Shyamalan, The Village? Yeah, that's not bad. I figured it out halfway through. I'm like, oh, I get it. Yeah. Maybe not even halfway. It's not too bad. Again, it's a very slow film. Well, yeah, but all of his are. Yeah. What about the old classic, The Shining? I love that film. Love it. Love it. Absolutely love that. That is my favorite film of all time. All right, Mike, then you and I have something in common. Jack Nicholson in that film is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Even though it doesn't follow the the book very closely, it's still on its own as its separate piece of work is very yep. effective. Yep. I found children of the children of the corn to be so corny. Oh. Well, well yeah, yeah, I guess it would be. Yeah. <laughs> well, pardon the pun, but yeah, children of the corn was corny, but at the same time, it was funny. Yeah, more or less, because you're just like, I would punt those little kids. You know, I think everyone has thought that while watching that film. Mm -hmm. you know, just kick them. They're little. They're tiny. Just punt. <laughs> I don't know. Which was worse? Bird Box or Quiet Place? Haven't seen either. No, I don't think I have. Or do I want to? I have zero desire to see those movies. The Omen were good as well. I did like The Omen. I don't know. I haven't seen the original, though. No, the, the original Omen, Omen's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I only watched the remake. Didn't find it that scary. I think there was, like, one jump scare. Mm-hmm. Might have got me. <laughs> uh, again, I enjoyed the Japanese version of The Grudge. I have not seen the Japanese version. Hmm. Yeah, the, the Japanese original one is fucking brilliant. The uh, Hollywoodized remake with, um, what's her name, Sarah Michelle Gellar, was absolute homely. It had a few little jump scares in it, and that was it. Yeah. Uh, I spent such a big budget on that film and all I put was a few little jump scares in it. That had so much more potential. Yeah. Uh, what else? I mean, if you want a, a little comedy horror, then you could do the Friday the 13th. Or not the Friday the 13th. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. I mean, Friday oh, the 13th. All of Nightmare on Elm Streets were funny. Yeah. Or Chucky. That's another one. Oh, that, that's just pure comedy, that is. <laughs> yep. I love those uh, films, though. Those, those those kind of movies are my kind of movies. I love them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Chucky for a slasher. Yeah, okay. If, <laughs> yeah. Mm, I Yeah, you, you'll be hard baked to push Army of Darkness for comedy horror. Are 
Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Halloween is a load of pish. Um. Jeez, I'm trying to think now. Oh, God, no. You know what? I should time you out for that, Eric. Jesus Christ. You're no. never allowed to recommend that movie to anyone ever again. And I've got no inclination to watch that at it's, all. It's awful. I can it's, imagine. It's basically like a F-rated horror movie and a D-rated porno. Right, okay. <laughs> at the same time. Fucking yeah, like atrocious. I uh, regret watching it. I wish I could go back in time and say fuck you to Eric and not watch it. <laughs> Did you ever get to see the um, B movie spin off they did of Nightmare on Elm Street? No. It's completely and utterly banned worldwide. Oh. This film. And it's called Frederica. Oh. And it was basically, supposedly, about Freddy Krueger's sister. Okay. <laughs> and she was 20 times worse than Freddy. As far as the, the, the brutality or the, the corniness? As far as all of it goes. Okay. Great. Hmm. Uh, okay. I'll have to look into that one. <laughs> Um, I bet there's some there's gotta be a copy somewhere. Someone's got it. On some yeah, random the old, server. The old Hammer House of Horrors are brilliant as well. Oh speaking of Hammer, I found one of those like uh it's almost like a made for TV movie kind of thing. Uh called called Midnight Meat Train. Oh, you gotta watch it. It's got uh, the guy from Snatch in it. Hold on. I'll get you a name. It, the one who played uh, Bullet Tooth Tony? Was it? Midnight Meat Train. Uh, Vinny Jones. Okay. It's got Vinny Jones in it. And Bradley Cooper. I didn't even realize it had Bradley Cooper. What the fuck? Brooke Shields? I did, okay. I haven't watched this in a long time. <laughs> I must admit, I was thinking about saying that one, Gail, but I refrained. <laughs> I know. Birds. Can I just my response? Oh, God. Now, Gail's got an uh, extreme phobia about birds. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't do that, then. <laughs> don't watch the birds. Uh, that's not good. Like, being scared is one thing, but having a phobia is completely something else. It's like mm. you watching it, Mike. I'm fine with it. Really? I don't understand bother me. Yeah, but it's got a spider. It's... Where? Pennywise is a giant spider. Which version are we talking about? The original with Tim Curry. Don't remember that bit. I haven't seen it in years. Yeah, he's a spider. Okay. Uh, you don't remember it being a spider? No. Nope. At the end? No. It's been years since I've watched the original. Oh. I mean, it could be... It looks more like a creature than a, a spider, but yeah. Okay. That looks weird. I don't remember. Anyway. Oh, it's, it's Tim Curry. It's bound to look weird. Yeah. Yeah. Original. Um, it was really bad... Uh, CGI, not CGI. It was like rotoscoped. 
It was right. all jittery and stuff. Like, it looked terrible in the film, okay. but, you know. I'll have to give it a watch again. Yeah. I was going to say, at the end, in the cave, it, like, comes out and it's actually, like, a spider instead of a clown. Okay. But no. I mean, one film I will never watch again is Arachnophobia. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That will never happen. Oof. Oof. Nope. My skin was crawling for days after watching that film. I can imagine. Yeah. If you have arachnophobia, I wouldn't recommend watching a movie about arachnophobia. No. Definitely not. Wild. Uh, yeah, don't do it. Don't just don't do it. <laughs> so many fucking horror films that I can't remember as, uh, I've watched as well. See, I, I'm all for the the really bad shark movies. Oh, don't tell me Sharknado. Oh, worse than Sharknado. Like, looks like it, it was someone with a camcorder that said, "Ah, oh, I can film a shark movie." And my Uncle Jerry knows how to edit. Okay. <laughs> they're they're really bad. Like a lot of them made for TV and stuff like that. Awful. Truly, truly awful. There's only one saving grace with um, Sharknado. Who's that? Or what is that? Don't say Tara Reed. No, when the shark actually ate the uh, fat woman that used to do the dancing. Okay. Can't think of her name now. Fat woman that used to do the dancing. I'm so confused by this statement. She went to prison for something. Uh... She, she used to do that stupid fucking reality shit dance mums or whatever it's called oh like uh honey boo boo's mom there who i don't know dance moms uh, who the fuck is honey boo boo google it don't do it actually it's terrible it's awful yeah i don't know I don't know who you're on about, though. Uh, I need to rewatch those movies, apparently. <laughs> it would be funnier if the shark ate Honey Boo Boo. There's someone actually called Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, it's a little girl that dances in like the dance moms kind of thing. My fucking God. That's a nickname. I don't know her real name. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shark, NATO, cast. I think it was Shark NATO 5. Oh, God. Was that the one you're talking about? I think it was. Oh, wait. Are you talking about Charo? No. Who? <laughs> Apparently, Charo is in that movie. <laughs> Did not know that. I'm not making this up, Mike. You really need to, like, expand your horizons a little bit. Who the fuck is Charo? Google it. She was very popular in the 90s, I guess. Tony Hawk is in Sharknado 5. Okay. Oh, God. Um, who, who is Mike talking about? I have no clue. Geraldo Rivera's in Sharknado 5. Dolph Lundgren. What the fuck? <laughs> I need to watch these movies. I don't know if I watched five, to be honest with you. It's brain rot. Yeah. Maybe that's why I'm so stupid. Blame the movies that I watch. I don't know. What else? All right, we got to keep going with the, these movie suggestions here. Um, 
What about the fly? Very good. So, uh, what's his name? Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. Goldblum. Yeah. yeah. Little body horror. Uh, there is a movie called. Let's see. The game. Maybe I'm thinking of the game. Yeah. I'll make you right there, don't I think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was a game called Phantasmagoria, which is like uh, one of those. Uh, <laughs> it was a like real time video things. It's like like a click adventure sort of thing where it had like real life like actors on the, the green screen. And they would like talk to each other and you had to like click dialogue choices and you had, like had to like do these things and like if the, the whatever monster or whatever caught up with you it would like rip you in half and it was some like really terrible gore practical gore effects oh man okay oh uh, good night gail have, have a good one hopefully the head feels better good night gail Yeah. Yeah, we need a we need a Mike's uh Mike's list here or something of like recommended horror films. Well I can type some out on the Discord if you want. Yeah, if you want to. I'm curious as to you know, your list. Hey, what's up, six hundred? Got a ghosty haunting us. This is uh who I was talking about before. We've rated into six before. Um, we're talking about horror movie six. Um, let's see. I mean, do you like the? I like like, I mean, aliens, all that stuff. That was good. Um, what about the? Yes, Abby Miller was that woman's name. Wow, you you really had to search for that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Um, you like the new Evil Dead movie? I oh, fucking love that film. That was so fucking good. I really gotta watch that. If you were recommended it that highly, then I gotta watch that. It sounds like it would be I, a good. Time. I would actually put that one on par with the first one. Yeah. Really. Yes, yeah. that's, that's um, that's that's. Mm. Well, if you if you want a good uh, comedy horror, you can watch Tucker and Dale versus Evil. That's a good one. Never heard of that one. Really? Yeah. Oh man, if you want to just a, a, it's a it's a giggle, but you know at the same time it's it's got some good gore effects and stuff. Okay. There's someone gets oh. wood chippered in it. <laughs> Oh, spoilers. There's one film that I will never get the time back of my life from watching. Go on. Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies. That sounds terrible. Oh, is that like yeah. the one? Okay, yeah, I definitely have heard of this one. Let's take a look. Can we watch the trailer? If oh, you God, it looks awful. Oh, yeah, we got to watch this. Let's watch the trailer to this horrible movie. Hey, where's it gone? There it is. Okay. Uh, pride. Bridge, uh, dis and zombies. Trailer. Boom. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. It was very good. Oh boy. Yeah. This looks terrible. Why do, why would you watch this? <laughs> I you didn't just... actually turn to my TV with it. Ah, okay. It was at a friend's house. Ah, uh, whoa. Oh, that really canned scream sound effect that literally is in every movie ever. Black plague. Within weeks, the dead began to rise. This cannot be. 
Pretty cool makeup effects. Yeah. Now, the few of us that are left have only one way to survive. We must bring the fight to them. I wanna get I've been training for this what my whole the life. Okay. The first likely choice is to be right here in this room. <laughs> um. We'll train for battle, sir. Okay. You're starting to lose me with this now. A woman must have a thorough knowledge of singing, dancing, and the art of war. And zombie killing. Okay. I shall never relinquish my sword for a ring. The right man, you would. Why does this look like a, an all-female cast remake of like a zombie film? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For the family, you gotta do it for family. Yeah, just, 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 nah. First person zombie death? Okay. Yeah. Right up there with Lincoln Vampire Hunter? Yeah. I can imagine. I haven't seen that one either. Have you seen Dead I Snow? That's another one. We must always woman. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty bad, Mike. Yeah, it's very bad. Okay, okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave that there. Uh, yeah, uh, it it definitely gives me the whole like. If it looks like it was originally made with a male cast, and then someone decided to be PC about it and go, we should do this with all women instead. <laughs> Jesus know. Christ, Vamp Hunter. No, I've never heard of that one. Oh, no. Hold on. I got, I'm going to Google it real quick. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Vamp Hunter. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. That looks awful. That looks so... Let me. It's got to be 70s, right? Oh, no. It's on Wikipedia. 2001? <laughs> Oh, it's a, a parody. Okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, Canadian horror parody film of Odessa Filmworks, which deals with Jesus Christ's modern day struggle to protect the lesbians of Ottawa, Ontario from vampires with the help of Mexican wrestler El Santo, played by Jeff Moffat, who starred as El Santo in two other Odessa Filmworks productions. <laughs> Okay. You know, it's 600. I wouldn't expect anything less. That sounds amazing. Speaking of lesbians, though, uh, Jenny showed us a film during the aftermath of Babezilla, Eric, looking at you. <laughs> She's like, we need a palate cleanser f film. We cannot, like, just all go to bed watching that. I'm like, yeah, what are we going to watch? And she's like, well, I did hear about this one. And it was like lesbian vampire hunters. I'm oh, yeah. like, yeah. that doesn't sound better. <laughs> and she's like, trust me, just trust me. And uh, we, we watched it and it was actually a decent film. I'm like, other than the fact that there was barely any lesbianness to it, I'm going to say it was a good film. I mean, it could use a little bit more lesbian action if uh, we're talking about a movie called Lesbian Vampire Hunters. Yep. I think lesbians would agree. I think, to, if I'm perfectly honest, the best vampire film I've watched for a long time would have to, I'd have to still say John Carpenter's Vampires. What about... Uh, what about... Uh the new Nick Cage. That was shit. <laughs> Whoa, what was it called? <laughs> that was a fucking insult to vampire films. <laughs> I know it was one as a parody. <laughs> even as a parody, it was fucking diabolical. <laughs> Redfield. 
Nick Cage deserves the biggest fucking... Look, the man slap. is probably broke, all right? He needs the money. Yeah, he needs to start buying his comics again, doesn't he? Dude, he needs to do something, because Jesus. <laughs> he's uh, he's taken any film he could get at this point. Just like, yeah, you want me to do it? Sure, done. <laughs> Nick Cage. Uh. Again, my favorite Nick Cage film. For that one, I'd have to say his face off. Yeah, I mean, he's done some good films. I still say Con Air. <laughs> Put the bunny back in the box. <laughs> Kevin Smith's Yoga Hosers. Is that a... Wait, he made a horror movie, didn't he? Isn't that Kevin Smith from Jay and Silent Bob? Yes, it is. Yeah, I thought so. He's the blonde-haired one, isn't he? Kevin Smith made... The one that I'm wearing the beanie at. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. no, not the blonde one. Huh? He's he's Silent Bob. He's the fat one. Oh, really? Yeah. He's the one. Yeah. Uh, so, Kevin Smith made Tusk. Jeez. Poor uh, Justin Long, man. He, he Whenever he's in a horror film, he always gets the shit end of the stick. Mm. Yeah, that's fucked up. Tusk, you seen that one, Mike? I don't think so. It's like someone's trying to make a human walrus. And like, he kidnaps a person and like, starts gluing shit to his face and stapling stuff on and like, ugh. Okay. It's fucked up. I might give it a watch. Oh yeah, Yoga Hosers. That that is uh that is another one that he made. That is a, a horror movie. 2016 right. American comedy horror film written and directed by Kevin Smith. It's spin off of Smith's 2014 horror film Tusk. It stars Smith's daughter Harley Quinn Smith, Lily Rose Depp, and her father Johnny Depp. Second film in Smith's True North trilogy. It had its world premiere on January 24th, 2016 Sundance Festival. Before being released September 2nd uh, by Invincible Pictures, the film was a commercial flop and was panned by critics who viewed it as a low point in Smith's career. Ah, sounds like a great one to get into. No, nah, I mean, look, I don't trust, well, I don't listen really to reviews or anything. Like, I just watch whatever I want to watch. And if it's funny to make fun of or funny, funny, that's all good. It's not going to scare me because, like, I don't get scared by horror movies. So another vampire film I like was *Dust Till Dawn*. Yeah, I like that one. Kind of cheesy, kind of cheesy. Very the, cheesy. But you know what? I will say, I I had gone into that film not knowing really anything about the franchise, and uh, mm -hmm. like this was recently. So yeah. going into it completely blind, and like all of a sudden getting that twist thrown at me, where it's like. Oh shit! Th these people are monsters. They're like kind of vampire kind of things going on, and ah, oh. it would make sense with the title. Well, yeah, but yeah, that's a that's a good one. Definitely entertaining for sure, and uh, the very classic uh, foot fetish scene in there as well for um, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Yeah. He really lays it on pretty thick in that one. Oh, yeah. Pulp Fiction was uh, a little more subtle. That one, <laughs> it was like, yep, I'm just going to make myself a scene and sit in my house and jerk off to it all the time because, good Lord, <laughs> that scene right there was for all you foot lovers out there. No judgment. No kink shaming yeah. here. <laughs> whatever, whatever floats your boat, I suppose. As long as I don't try and suck on my toe, they're all right. Because I will get my foot right in their fucking... <laughs> where it hurts. <laughs> um, yeah. What else is good? Uh, we, we talked about Tucker and Dale. What about... Oh, the uh, At World's End. We were talking... To, someone mentioned... Uh, at Shaun World's of the End. Dead. Oh, Shaun of the Dead, yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. It was a comedy, yeah, for, as a comedy horror, yeah. Or well, he did comedy, not comedy that world's end. Uh, what what is it called? Shit, the end of the world. Uh, there was another one made by the same guys. 
Oh, uh, what was it called? <clears throat> the end of the world movie. God, I'm never going to find this. End of the world. Oh, it's just called The World's End, right? It's based on a pub called The, the World's End and a group of oh, guys what? that are over the hill getting back together and doing one last, like, pub crawl. And the last pub on the list is called The World's End. Okay. And there's a spicy twist in the middle of it, which I won't give away. No spoilers. Um, but it's, it's like, kind of throws it at you and you're just like, what the fuck? Okay. And then, then you could just kind of on a wild ride for the rest of the movie. So I think it's good. If you enjoyed Shaun of the Dead, you would, you would enjoy the, the comedy stylings of this film as well. So it's not going to be like too far out of that realm. But the horror-esque style of, if you would, of it is is pretty different. Uh, it doesn't go in the, the, the kind of like, you know, crawling zombie sort of thing. It's, it's a little bit more... Right. New Age, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know. That's the best way I can put it without spoiling it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really good. Zomb zombie films, I'd have to say my favorite is 28 Days Later. That's a good film, that one. Oh, it's a great film. It's very grounded, you know? Well, like, well, if... 28, was... No, because you had two, didn't you? You had 28, 28 Days and then 28 Days Later. You had 28 Weeks Later. 28 weeks later, that was the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So 28 days later, right? I think that's probably one of the most, like, realistic zombie scenarios, if there was to be one. Like, if yeah. if the zombie apocalypse ap actually happened, I think that's what it would look like. You know? And yeah. You, you, you just more most realistic. Plus, like, the helplessness of the main character yep. during that film was, was pretty good as well. Because, like, the whole time he was just running scared. And he's mm -hmm. just trying to survive. And it's like, you, you notice other elements in there, like, of other, like, video games and movies and other stuff like that. Like, um, I don't know which came first, uh, The Last of Us or 28 Days Later, but, like, similar kind of scenes when they meet up with people and they have, the, like, their little safe house and stuff. And I know, uh, 28, hold on, I'll fucking Google it. I'm on the Google box right now, jeez. 28 days later. Do, 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 do. Uh, 2002 and yep. The Last of Us came out originally. Uh, this is all about the, the TV show. Um, game. Hold on. Original game. Can't wait. The, the Last of Us Part 2, I think. Should be coming soon. Can't remember. Can't remember what they said. The Last of Us Part Two is coming out. Um. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, original game. Twenty thirteen looks like. Okay. So twenty eight days later it came first. Yeah. Um. But basically, uh, the. Like, little safe house in The Last of Us reminds me a lot of 28 Days Later. Mm hmm But such a good movie. Such a good yeah. movie. And then, like, at the end, and... Uh, I'll be honest, I don't um, even remember watching 28 Weeks Later. <laughs> Robert, Robert Carlyle was absolutely brilliant in that film. Yeah. Another good one would be uh, I Am Legend. It's a bit more stylized and... Exaggerated. Oh, I hated that film. Eh. <clears throat> the dog. That's the Smith one, isn't it? Yeah, I like the dog. Doggo. It was. Um, I see. It's like it's like Twenty Eight Days Later, but like the dude is a superhero. That's what I get out of that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like I, I like a lot of bad movies, Mike. It happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like bad shark movies intentionally because they're funny. I know I like the dog in in uh, in I Am Legend. Sue me, I'm a sucker for cute doggos. <laughs> Besides that, I also, if I was to be in a situation like that with uh, with the end of the world, I would want a doggo companion. 
Fair enough. Be very useful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the original Pet Cemetery was good. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to go down that the road. Remake, the remake was a complete and utter pile of shit. Yeah, they need to leave these horror franchises alone. Yep. They need to leave all movies alone. Just come up with original ideas. Please. Yep. Stop pandering to people and just do something creative. And I mean, all this fucking Twilight and shit like that. <laughs> nah, those don't even count. No, 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 no. no. no they, they weren't horrors. They were just teen fucking piece of shit. <laughs> just, we don't even want to talk about those on this stream. That's uh, how pile of shit they were. Like, I like bad movies, and I, no, mm -mm, I refuse. No, I mean, the, the original teen vampire film was the best one, which was the Lost Boys. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> That's fair. But then they went and ruined it with Lost Boys 2 and 3. Oh, that, well, yeah. That's what happens. Like, horror franchises, right? So, like, with, typically with horror franchises, they will milk that completely dry, that intellectual property. They will just milk it completely dry until no mm -hmm. one cares anymore. A la... You ever see Jason X? Yep. <laughs> <Wish I hadn't. laughs> Jason in space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The bad looking Fast and the Furious Nine. Oh, I've I've never seen a single Fast and Furious intentionally. Yeah, if it's on in the background. Then I haven't really watched it. Two, two characters from Fast and Furious get sent up into space in an old banger of a fucking. Japanese car attached to a rocket. Give me a fucking break. How and do they logic Johnny... their way out of that? Like, what? Yeah. But not only are they not in a space suit, they're wearing a fucking antique diver's suit. No! Yes! <laughs> Hold on. Wait, Hold on. wait, 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 wait. Let's see if it's on here. I gotta... I gotta... I, I, no way. <laughs> um, <laughs> FF9. No, that's Final Fantasy. Fast and Furious 9. Space scene. The Fast Saga. Going to space. Okay. Uh, oh, let's watch the frickin'... Oh. Should we watch a two-minute version or a seven-minute version? I'm scared. Two, for both. two minutes is plenty. Okay, fine. <laughs> we have a garage door that doesn't lift. So it went on Android. Ads. Just a handful of minutes. So vendors who were knowledgeable, they did high-quality work. They wanted us to be happy with the work done as well. It is a beautiful garage. Yeah. Yes. I should. I it wish I could log in through my account com. with this. Pressure differential. Oh my God! Come on! What? you the launch altitude? You guys ready for a five count? No way, dude. Unfortunately, yes, why? No way. Give me a break. Oh, that is like the worst way to launch a spacecraft, apparently. What? No. No, no. No, that's not how any of this works. It's got like aluminum foil on the inside. Mm hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is a comedy. This, tell me this isn't a comedy. Well, the Fast and Furious are supposed to be so-called action movies. We're in outer space! Told you numbers don't lie. 
This is crazy, bro. You can't be serious. What? Man, how much candy did you eat? Well, I, I, I eat candy when I get nervous. No. There's no way. You you can't tell me that's no, no. Just just no. Just stop. Using divers helmets. In a yep. car. It's a car. They're going through atmosphere. Yep. I literally can't. I just can't. Nope, 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 nope. Ah. Uh, just, just no. Stop, everyone, please. Just stop watching those movies so they can just stop doing them. Please. I'm asking you nicely. Stop watching those movies. They do not deserve any of that. I agree. That is another franchise that should have died after they made the Tokyo Drift one. I mean, what was that one? Which number? I think that was three. Yeah. See, I think like three for a franchise can be acceptable, but anything past that is usually dog shit. Mm hmm. Like the first three nightmares, the first three Jason or Friday the 13th, the first three Halloween's like acceptable. I, I don't know about Chucky. Honestly, Chucky could have been a one-off and I would have been okay with it. Because, like, Bride of Chucky... Yeah. Spawn of Chucky. Pathetic. All that bullshit. Terrible. That was just pathetic. The yeah. first Chucky was a good film. Yes. But, so, like, certain ones just don't don't need a sequel. Don't deserve a sequel. Yeah. Like, imagine if they made, like, Shining 2 Electric Boogaloo. Oh, God. <laughs> It's just it would just be the same film again with different people. Yeah, yeah. Like I, oh god, the crap that comes out that people pay to watch. Why? Ah, mm -hmm. oh, don't give them ideas. Jeez. Yeah, that's right. Yep. First one is usually, uh, usually the best. Yeah. In certain cases, I feel like sequels sometimes can be better than the originals, but, like, not very often. Mm -hmm. The Ring was a good film. Yep. I mean, eh, the premise was a bit out there, but that was another Japanese one, wasn't it? It yeah, was. Yeah. There's a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of very spooky Japanese folklore. Like, yeah, Jap the uh, Japanese don't know how to make her decent horror film well i mean if you have an entire forest in your country that's like dedicated to the you know taking of one's life i suppose uh you know that's pretty scary i'd, I'd stay away from that whole country everyone's mm -hmm. like oh let's go to japan it'll be fun yeah no <clears throat> terminator 2 is a good example of a better sequel and empire strikes back yeah, but yep. oh god, look what they've done with that franchise. Aren't they signed on for like ten more films or something? Fuck's like there, there's like they're they're in it for the long haul with that franchise. Just let it die, please. Stop CGIing dead characters back into the films. Ugh, stop pandering to everyone. I hate this. <laughs> Kathleen uh, Kennedy's uh, really uh, oh, of that fucking cunt of a character Jar Jar fucking Binks whoever and thought that was a good idea was a terrible and making him sound like fucking Ziggy Marley <laughs> yeah they got sh some shit for that they actually Oops. did yeah well yeah yeah well deserved shit yes they fucking deserved every bit of shit they got for that <laughs> yeah but they tried to make Jar Jar the new like C-3PO and it's just like no no, no, no. No, I just completely and utterly fucking ruined it. Don't ever stop making Star Wars film full stop. But what? <clears throat> Pivotal character. If it wasn't for him, there wouldn't have been Clone Wars. I get it, but you could have done the character better. 
I mean, Star Wars for me, Ziggy Banks. This is Star Star Wars for me died after the first, the original trilogy. Yeah, it's like me. I don't care about anything after that. Like, just let it be. It was a good story. It fucking was. Uh, no. Nope, can't nope. do it. Lucasfilm had to take it on and then they sold out to their fucking ass wipes at Disney. And now it's just nothing but a little fucking kids show. Well, yeah, now you have Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda's yeah. so cute. Yeah, Baby Yoda needs his fucking head cutting off. <laughs> You're so cynical, Mike. <laughs> Episode 2 is the best Star Wars movie. Fight me. Oh, boy. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. Let's stick to horror. It's a genre I'm more familiar with. Just, just, just stop. Someone needs See, to put my, a stop to them. My favorite was the um, Return of the Jedi. But, like... Star Wars people are turning into modern warfare people, like Call of Duty people, because yeah. they still they come out with a new one all the time and people go, yeah, we'll watch this one. Maybe it'll be better than the last one. And then all of a sudden it's terrible. And they're like, ah, that was that was pretty disappointing. Well, they're making another one already, so maybe that one will be good. And they wait for that one to come out and they get all hyped about it. And then they go, OK, well, let's see if this one's better than the last one. And they come out with, like they, they go to the theater. They go, oh, well, that was shit, too. Oh. Well, maybe the next one will be better. God, just stop. Just stop. Let yeah. it die. It just makes them to sell merchandise these days. Star Wars Battle Pass coming soon. Oh, don't even. Oh. Imagine yeah. having like it's just them selling loot crates or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all they do is need to do is uh, the sell the self-actuating lightsabers they made for the something actors ah I mean yeah lightsabers are all, are all cool and stuff but like there's been a number of people like Mythbusters and stuff like that would, that have tried to like make a practical lightsaber and it just doesn't exist no. the, the practicality of a lightsaber is just not it's just not practical at the end of the day it's cool it's not practical. Yeah, I mean, the, the idea of a lightsaber is fucking brilliant. <clears throat> yeah, but like in a world that you have all these blasters and guns and shit like that and lasers, like the fact that you're still sword fighting at the end of the day is kind of ridiculous, but it's like the yeah, Jedi's that, way. That's my type of character. I'm old school. Yeah, but like you would live in a, a fantasy land with like orcs and you know, trolls and shit like that. You wouldn't live yeah. in the, you know, land far, far away a long, long time ago. Well, I guess it's all perspective. But anyways... <laughs> it would still be cool to have a booby knife made out of a lightsaber. God. Please, no. Uh, it all makes sense. Idiocracy happened, and then boom, storm stormtroopers can't aim. Maybe I have to watch oh, the film yeah. to understand that. <laughs> um, horror movies. What else? What else? We're missing franchises here. I know we are. Yeah. Um, Hellraiser. We've talked about Hellraiser quite a bit. Yeah, horror Hellraiser was good. They just didn't need to go into 13 films. No, again, just leave well enough alone. I think it's called Fleshlight now. Oh, God. <laughs> wasn't did i post that anywhere or did i post that to my friends in our little secret meme group the uh, uh eric i would have to say right. that is at least two of them gremlins horror comedy or a christmas movie Ooh, that's like a little shop of horrors you know it's like is it a musical is it all a horror movie i don't think it's horror some some people would classify it as horror, but I, it's not very scary whatsoever. Is it sci-fi? Because technically, it's an alien. Now, one one 
um, musical that is an absolute fucking horror film. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. It's just a great film. Oh, that Sweeney film, Todd, yeah. That film gave me nightmares for fucking months. <laughs> Tim Curry's face will do that to you. <laughs> God rest his soul. Uh, oh, has he popped his gloves? Is he? Wait, I thought he died. I don't know. I ain't got a clue. I thought he died. Oh, wait, is he alive still? Oh, my God, he's still alive. <laughs> Never mind. I hadn't heard anything about Tim Curry popping it. I thought he died. Who am I thinking of? I don't know. See, he's he 77 he years old. He's still he alive. A, oh, maybe that's what it was. I think everyone was uh, <laughs> expecting him to die. <laughs> uh, messed up, him up good? Yeah. yeah. A bit like that thing that um, Jump Bruce the gun, all right? Oh, God. I'm, I, I hope I don't will it into... Uh, <laughs> will it into being still going strong okay no, no it's a shame about the, the illness that uh bruce willis has got in it oh yeah speech issues still full of life 77 years old Ooh, he's getting up there though uh yeah bruce willis man that's a bummer yeah what was it some form of alzheimer's in it he's got uh, oh, something like that. Yeah, it's, it's not not great. Whatever it is, no. it's like he is not doing well. No, it's a fucking shame because he was a brilliant fucking actor. It brings a lot of things to to you know, like if we still have people like uh, Ozzy kicking. Like, well, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, like Ozzy's yeah. still kicking, and Bruce Willis is like Ozzy's still kicking, and what's the other one? Keith Richards. Keith Richards. How? I, mean, I swear to God, it's all the drugs. Keith Richards literally looks like a fucking zombie that's been on crack all his life. Oof. <laughs> He's still going. There can be only one, I know. <laughs> Once he goes, it's just going to be like bowling pins. Just all of them just going to go. <laughs> I think Keith, Keith Richards is like, I don't know. Maybe he's like selling his blood or something and like giving it to other people so that they can live forever as well. Maybe he's a vampire. Have we ever thought about that? Well, you never know. <laughs> Keys and cockroaches left after the bomb. Damn right. Queen died, so you, you have Keith and Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> At least there's that. Um... I wish oh, some of these franchises is, would die. Has the Queen actually died, or has she gone to where Elvis is? Ooh, there's a conspiracy theorist theory for you. Maybe she went to Epstein Island. You never know. <laughs> you wouldn't. You never know. Mind you, she'd have probably um, joined Andrew. Hmm. Right. Let me go back to England safely. I thought yeah, Ozzy lived in England still. Uh, he used to live in America, but he did move back to England because yeah. of his failing health. Yeah. I believe they've got a mansion out in Hertfordshire. Oh. He has since the Queen died. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, he probably uh, still has a house in America, though. Oh, yeah, they, they've still got the house in America. I think the kids still live there. Fair enough, yeah. Um, but him and Sharon are over here now. No longer a threat of beheading. <laughs> Actually, they, they they dressed up like uh, Sharon and Ozzy dressed up like Kanye West and his new wife, whatever her name is, for Halloween. And it was hilarious. You guys should check that out. Actually, if I can. Uh, I don't have a screen share thing on here, do I? Maybe I can do it this way. Da 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 da. I, I will show you guys Sharon and Ozzy Halloween yeah. costume. Oh, that's other people dressing as Sharon and Ozzy. God damn it. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, let me share this. 
no, not that. Share. This one, go live. Yeah, so uh, Sharon and Ozzy, Ozzy. Oh, I need to click on this one. They dressed up as Kanye and his wife for Halloween. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very strange, but you know, celebrities, you know? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, at least they still have a sense of humor. No, G, you are right. She is looking good now. She is looking good. She never used to. <laughs> Jesus. Kelly, uh, I mean, when they were doing that fucking reality show on the Osbournes, she looked fucking rough as fuck. God, she's like skinny now. What the hell? Weird. Kind of creepy. But yeah, she got really skinny. Yeah. But isn't Jack kind of the same? Jack got skinny as well. Yeah. Skinny he did. At least. He, he started looking after himself a bit when he started doing those um, adrenaline junkie things. Yeah. But like... I feel like if I was like a celebrity's kid like that, I'd I'd be fat as fuck because I'd just sit at home all day and play games and eat snacks and not do anything and not take care of myself. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, I would have the money and the ability to get skinny as well later in life because I could just go. Yeah, I feel like getting skinny. I'm not being yeah, I'd be a personal trainer. I mean, as soon as I finish paying for my loan which is May this year, I'll be joining up my local gym and I'll be going back to the gym. There you go. I just can't afford it at the moment. Yeah. Because I know for a fact that I need to lose some weight. Well, as long as uh, the rest of your health holds up, Mike, that's, uh, that's good. Well, ho hopefully doing some weights will um, help fix me back. Really? Build up the muscles in me back again. Ah, oh, that's fair enough, yeah. I mean, stagnation isn't helping, that's for sure. No. Yeah. Worked is a is relative with some of those procedures. 100,000? Oh, well, I mean, money can fix just about anything nowadays. Unless you're um, Sylvester Stallone's mum. Oh, God. <laughs> what happened there? Wait, what did I miss? Uh, she had plastic surgery and it went way wrong. Let's see. Go, oh, Jesus! Holy hell! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Holy shit! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wow. I don't think I don't think I can even show that on Twitch. <laughs> oh no. Okay, that's the thing you can Google. Feel free. Holy shit. That, that oh. looks like something that a Rottweiler has puked up. Oh no. Worst part is there's a photo here. She kinda looks like Pennywise. <laughs> Oh, wow. She looks like a... <laughs> she looks like a mix between Carrot Top and that person that was trying to turn themselves into a tiger. <laughs> it's terrible. All right. <laughs> You're right, I'm not yeah. sleeping after that. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, well, Nick's going to have that as his pin-up above his bed. 
<laughs> sure, if I want to, you know, do some abstinence, yeah, why not? <laughs> It is no nut November after all. <laughs> Speaking of carrot top, carrot top looks like shit too. But hey, that's something for a different show. Hey, we have some memes. We should probably we should probably do them this time because we forgot to last time. Okay. Whoop whoopsies. Yeah, there's there's a few that I'll put in. Oh yes, well aware of that, Mike. <laughs> Let's, I think uh, I'm the only one that has enough. Mm, I put a couple in. Hold on. Uh, need to get our. Where's my thing for this? Discord. There it is. Discord. Meme dump. Meme dump. There's Discord. Okay. Where are we going back to? Yeah, right here. Okay. <laughs> Did we do this one? Men only want one thing and it's disgusting. Then wash it. <laughs> I think that was the first one I saw of yours, Mike. I was like, that had me in stitches. <laughs> this looks like a Rift Tracks thing, doesn't it? It looks like it could be on Rift Tracks. Yep. <laughs> uh, Chris Eubank has just written a book about ethics. If it's a success, this next one will be about Kent. Mm, that's a that's a British joke if I've ever heard it. Yeah, it's because of um, Chris Eubanks' lisp. Oh. Okay. God damn it. I don't like the term anal bleaching. I prefer changing your ringtone. <laughs> Does this just make me look fat? Does this tie make me look bald? But you are bald. Exactly. Oh. Ooh. Did you hear, uh, Did you know you had a, a fart problem before you signed up for the submarines? You can't just open a window, you know. <laughs> oh my god, that's Mike. Yep. <laughs> Dear god, never put Mike on a submarine. <laughs> This is what they do. This is happening. A man w was bummed to death in a swimming pool at your house, pal. I'd sit this one out. <laughs> yeah, we, we explained that one in detail last week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you tell everyone on Facebook that you're taking a break from social media and it gets the most likes you've ever had. Oh, <laughs> oof, bloody cost of living. Dude, if I saw that, I would cry. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I would do. I, I When there's a will, there's a way. And then I might be missing a sock afterwards. Yesterday, a creep told me he loved my long hair, so today I cut it. I love your neck. <laughs> oh my god. That is evil. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the West Wing, that, that that's the meme I was talking about. Yep. <laughs> oh, God, it looks disgusting. Oh, Biden, come on, man. Oh, yeah, the Shy Tots experience. <laughs> hey, if you guys want 20% off all your e-liquid, use the code What's Your Favorite Cheese. Get a hold of Jane. And don't forget naturally skincare. And naturally skincare, yeah. I think I have more on the way with Jenny. Kermit the Flog. <laughs> you just picture the voice. <laughs> Wait. That sounded like Pee Wee. Eh, almost the same. God damn it. Sorry, all I got is candy flavored vape. Just blowing it in their face. Why do I feel like that? Like some American has probably done that. I'm about to get kicked out of this supermarket. And look at that. You got all the Cheez-Its and Gatorade you can snack on before you get kicked out. But, you know, when you give me a basketball hoop and perfectly nice round melons here. <laughs> yeah, that's just going to lead to trouble. 
Yep. There you go, for that special shithead in your life. I need that. I need this to be a mod in Arma so we can wear these. Demo, get <laughs> on it. Wear this as a ballistic helmet. <laughs> so to me, that, that reminds me of the old um, Chinese farmer's hats. Oh, God. <laughs> the rice the rice paddy hats? <laughs> yep. As a kid, did you ever knock on doors and fuck off before anyone could answer? If you answered yes, we could have a job for you. That's DPD delivery. <laughs> Looking, Timo. <laughs> oh, no. My car is making terrible noise. Try taking out that Taylor Swift CD. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Taylor Swift is pants. As you would say, Mike, Taylor Swift is pants. Yep. Her music is awful. Yep. You know, on second thought, how about we just order a pizza? Ah, yes. Let's go to Taste of Wanking tonight. <laughs> Who? That, that's got to be fake. That's got to be oh, fake. I've forgotten about that one. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to look. I want to see if uh, Google Lens can translate for me. Camera. Let's see. Google Lens. No, not that. No, go, go away. Uh, wait, can I just... Is it just any mode now? Or is it like settings? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, the Google Trans... Sorry. The Google Translate app has a camera feature where you can like... Just look at stuff with your camera. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming, let's see, Chinese. Uh, well, the first word is taste. I don't think it's going to get. Oh. Taste old something. I, I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. It, it is. I think if the third word translation says Nanjing is correct that might be where they got that if that is real that might okay. be where that uh, word came from because it's Nanjing and it could be pronounced like differently and especially with someone that doesn't know English very well but like come on that's got to go through people wouldn't that go through like a city council Oh jeez, never mind. All right, I'm I'm way overthinking that meme. Anyways, anyone got their tree up? I have up in the fucking loft where it belongs for the next five weeks. Damn fucking right. I agree because um, we have another holiday in between. We have Thanksgiving, and I'm sorry, but it's not Christmas until after Thanksgiving. And I know people ugh, they've been selling Christmas shit since like early September. You're goddamn right. When you're hanging out with your bestie, but she's still at work. Oh, God. That's... Mm. Okay. <laughs> it's subtle, but yep. Mm -hmm. Dire thing. Oh, this is a classic. Y'all better enjoy Halloween while it lasts because she's defrosting now. Yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Um, you know, just pop that out real quick. Is that, wait, did I change that? No. Eh. Out. And go to here. Go to. Go. Should do it. No. What are you trying to do? Oh. He fucks it. Oh, I got it. Shut up. I got it. All right. Uh, we are on the two hour mark and uh, mm. I, I have so much shit to do today. I think we need to call it and get the hell out of here. Every month. Do we still have Jenny? Is Jenny still around? Murmur, 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 murmur. Let's see. Who is live? Josh isn't live anymore. <clears throat> Let's find a raid target. Oh, dear God, I think. Any of the music guys online? I don't know. 
What 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 did you do? I have a cover playlist specifically for ruined Mariah Carey songs. Oh Jesus. Uh, there's just no answer to that. Ooh. Let's see, there's a, a furry playing Jackbox. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't ask these questions, Mike. Get some into memes. Oh yeah, uh, you guys, please post some memes uh, for next week. Well, yeah, we're, we're going to be off the next couple of weeks. Oh, Eric is live? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, so we're going to be off the next couple of weeks because Jenny's going to be here and we're going to be doing stuff. Um, however, maybe possibly uh, we could do something on... Oh shit, let me find the date. Ah. Um, the second Sunday when she's here because we don't have something going on until later that evening. So it would be the 26th of oh. Thursday. Or of, of Thursday? Or the 26th of November. Um, yes. Uh, no, we're we're doing Friendsgiving that day, but it won't be until the afternoon, I want to say. So hopefully, possibly we'll announce it when things get closer, but um, I would like to be able to do something on that day. At least maybe an hour or something with Jenny here. That would be kind of cool. Very nice. So we'll uh, we'll work that out while she's here. But uh, yeah, we're going to raid into Eric. You guys, thank you for being here. Thanks for stopping by our stupid little stream that we do once a week. And uh, it's good to be back. We, we missed last week because people had shit going on. Things kind of got kerfuffled. But, uh, you know life happens this week g is not feeling well it's all wish g yeah, well, I'd be feeling bad. <laughs> yeah he was sneezing his head off last night and when we were watching movies so um but yeah we're gonna go raid right eric this will be fun he <laughs> um currently eric's playing modern warfare 3 but uh i think he might end up switching over if he if the stream lasts long enough <laughs> Um, then perhaps he could switch over to some Faz later on to do the new challenge mode when it comes out. But we'll see. Um, either way, guys, go say hi to Eric. Drop him a follow. He's working his way up to affiliate level on the follows. Oh. And uh, give him some, some watch hours here. Maybe we'll convince him to play some marbles as well. <laughs> he plays marbles on stream where it, you just like, it just marbles rolling down a thing. It's all like randomly generated so you don't there's no skill involved whatsoever but yeah yeah it's it's pretty entertaining anyways that's it for me guys that's it from us i should say thanks for being here don't forget to check out the sponsors cc coils and shy tots aka shy tots and uh natural skin care as well uh you can get a hold of jane on discord Instagram and Facebook, same with CC Coils as well. Use the coupon codes What's Your Favorite Cheese for 20% off all of Jane's stuff. And Who Needs Underpants for CC Coils? Thanks for being here once again, and we'll see you guys next time. I would just Bye. hit myself in the head. Bye! <laughs> Fist flaps and all that. Hang on, nuggets. Oh, God.